An annual march in New York to commemorate the black civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. turned into a direct protest against President Trump. Uh, the anger was directed at his alleged recent offensive remarks on some Central American, African and Caribbean countries. On the march, people waved national flags from those countries and chanted slogans like, Trump, make America hate again. Caleb Moppin was there. Asian Americans gathered to protest against Donald Trump's comments here in New York. We decided to ask them about Washington's policies toward their country in general. Were you surprised by Trump's comment about Haiti? Yeah, definitely. I'm not surprised. He's a dumb late man. He doesn't know anything about his story. I'm really not. I was kind of expecting it. I'm not surprised anything that is coming out of his mouth. Can you tell us about U.S. foreign policy to Haiti and what the USA has done to Haiti over the years? Over the years, you know, uh, there is not much, there's no difference, you know. What they've been saying, you know, like, you know about the government, you know, the support that the, that the corruption in Haiti. The reason we're in that situation right now is because of U.S. So therefore, he need to learn before he speak. Trump's alleged comments are certainly offensive, but the Caribbean nation has been in the firing line of Washington, D.C. for a long time, and we're not just talking about foul-mouthed rants. A WikiLeaks cable release from 2009 shows that the State Department pressured the Haitian parliament not to introduce a minimum wage. U.S. garment corporations lobbied the U.S. State Department to put pressure on the Haitian parliament not to increase wages, despite harsh humanitarian conditions. When it comes to meddling in Haitian politics, this is just the tip of the iceberg. In 1994, U.S. President Bill Clinton sent in troops to restore the ousted president, Jean Bertrand Aristide. Now, the forces aligned with and backed by the United States at that time had a pretty nasty practice known as necklacing. They used to fill a tire with gasoline, put it around the neck of someone accused of being a traitor, and then light it on fire. Fast forward to 2002, and the USA blocked $500 million in infrastructure loans to their former protege. Then in 2004, Aristide was removed in a military coup that he says was supported by the United States. Yes, Donald Trump's comments about Haiti have sparked a huge amount of outrage in American media. But the untold story remains how forces in Washington, D.C. have intervened and meddled in the country and have worked very hard to keep the country poor.